What is going on, party people? BQ here with the King of the Mountain podcast, YouTube channel talking breaking news in the world of Global Force Wrestling. If you have not already, hit that subscribe button. This is the number one place for Global Force Wrestling fans. As a matter of fact, make sure you do at least one of three things if you're listening to this video right now. Either hit subscribe, either give a thumbs up, or leave a comment, and I want to know your thoughts on this particular situation. The breaking news today in the world of Global Force Wrestling is that Low Key has departed the company. You can call it a departure, you can call it his release was granted, whatever it is. There's a couple reports that came out, and this is, you know, PWI reported it. I tend to believe most of what they say. I haven't had much of a reason not to, as far as uh, Mike Johnson goes, but of course there was a r one rumor that came out about, it was about money. Uh, I highly doubt that was the situation here. The other, which was said to be verified by Go Global Force Wrestling official, was creative. Before we even get to that, this is something that needs to, um, they need to address this. I understand they're doing per appearance deals. I understand it makes sense financially, but they've got to lock these guys down to longer deals. I mean, you can say, okay, because we don't want you don't want to pay someone who's not working and not doing anything. So you know, I think the number of contracts that are on salary are starting to lessen, and I think that's why we're going to see some more departures here soon. So pay per appearance, we get it. But you've got to lock these guys down to you know, it's a, a three month deal, it's a five month deal, it's a six month, it's a one year deal. And I know they are doing that with some people. Moose said he recently signed a three year deal. But these guys who are strictly on paper appearance, you either got to commit to that wrestler or the wrestler's got to commit to the company. We can't keep having this revolving door of people going in and out because the narrative is always going to be this person left Global Force Wrestling. Look at Al Snow. Look at Helms. Those guys, you know, they were released. They were not renewed. They were fired. However you want to spin it. But they did not leave on their own terms. But the dirt sheet narrative is Al Snow left Global Force Wrestling. Shane Helms left Global Force Wrestling. They always spin it to where everyone is leaving the company. So every time there's a departure, even with Davey Richards, who had the uh, absolute perfect reason for why he left, Davey Richards leaves the company. What are they going to do? People are keep leaving. It's probably over the 10%. They've got to do something to start locking these guys down because the inmates are starting to run the asylum. Not in the way that they did with Dixie Carter, where they, you know, completely walked all, all over her. Excuse me for tripping on my words there. They're not walking all over Anthem and Jeff Jarrett. But at the same time, they're going to them and say, if we don't, we don't like the creative direction, we're going to leave. And then they let them leave. And if any of you follow the NBA, the NBA is becoming, you know, what they say is a player's league. The owners have lost all control. The players are dictating where they want to play saying they won't play where they were traded or drafted to, forcing their ways off certain teams. Um, you know, and this isn't a direct comparison, but some players, you know, all like Kevin Durant, taking a lot less money in order to play with other stars when um, that's not allowed in other leagues. But that's still the player making it a player's league, making it about what they want. And the league and the owners are losing control. And that's, that's what's going to happen here. If you have every wrestler from Tyrus to low key, from who, whoever knows, whoever is unhappy with creative goes to the company and says, I don't like where my direction is going. I don't like where my correct character is going. And then you let him go or everybody wants to leave just because if anyone has a right to complain, it's Eli Drake and he hasn't done us done so yet, at least not to our knowledge. But you can't just, everyone is not a world title main event guy. Did I think Loki deserved that main event spot? Yes. Do I think he needs to go back to the X division? No. Because apparently what the report said is that he felt he should be in the world title picture. The build for Bound for Glory had him scheduled for the ultimate X match at Bound for Glory. Now, I agree with this. He's already won the title like 90 times. You have to graduate him and move him on to something else, something different, something bigger. I have to think, if we're asking BQ's personal opinion here, I think that a Destination X, he was slated to win the global championship. And then the title was taken off Alberto El Patron and creative direction changed from there. And he wasn't given the spot that he felt he deserved. Now, that's just my opinion. That might not be what happened, but I know that the company 
obviously rolled the dice big time with him and getting him involved with the biggest biggest angle they had with Patron and LAX and being involved with the most over act that they had with LAX. And now his departure really hurts the company. It hurts creative. And some of you called this my boy Raven effect, especially you called this, you know, you they said a lot of people said you can't trust this guy because he will pack up his bags and leave on a moment's notice and he's did it to other companies. And here he is doing it again. And I can understand, I know if I'm working at a job and I'm plugging away for several years, done everything that I could possibly do, and then when I ask for a promotion and they say, no, we expect you to com continue doing what you've been doing the last couple of years for a couple more years, I could see myself being pretty unhappy. So I can understand Loki's angle. I don't think he should have been pigeonholed any, for, any longer to the X Division. I think he's moved on past that but to think if he if he's thinking that he should have been in the world title picture or bound for glory i don't think so and i don't think anyone agrees that that would be um smart television but my last comment um and it's not even a new comment i'm just trying to reiterate they've got to do something about these contracts they have to do something where okay you're on a paper appearance but we you, we still have you for a while because you can we they cannot ha afford to have wrestlers come in and say this is what I want for myself creatively, and if it goes a different direction you leave because there's not room for everybody at the top. You have to be a team player, know your role, and if he felt like he was getting screwed out of a possible main event run or possible title win, I get it. But this just further highlights that they have to lock these guys down. That's it. This is BQ. Please hit subscribe. I want to hear your thoughts in the in the uh, comment section about the low-key departure and how you think this will affect the company moving forward and all that good stuff. Um, if you're, it's your first time on the channel, surf around. I've got interviews with Sienna, Ali, and more to come. So thanks for swinging by, guys. I'm out.